chance and just, you know, just playing Wisconsin football, you know, never giving up and just keep on playing. What goes through your mind after you missed that first one? And then, uh, and then maybe having another chance, then you finally get it and then it goes through the front. Yeah, I mean, I was just devastated, you know, and not just for me missing that opportunity, but just knowing how hard my teammates have worked and, you know, just putting that drive together and everything kind of, you know, going in that direction that me missing just felt like I really let my teammates down. But, you know, it was just crazy. You know, they're just like, you know, let go. We, we still got a chance, you know, don't give up yet. And that's what this is all about, you know, just keep on. Moving on and just you know focus on the nice stacks. So how do you keep your mind focused in between the miss, the defensive stand, and then the drive? You know you, you got to learn to let go, and that's that's what it is as a kicker. You know you just got to always focus on the next kick. But you know it's a lot easier when you have like Drew Meyer, you know messing around with me on the sidelines, and you know like you're about to go in, and we're just you know joking around and just not really thinking of the whole situation. Just you know knowing you're gonna have a perfect snap, perfect hold, and you know just. That whole deal with you know my team giving me that second chance. I know no matter what the momentum was on my side, nobody ever you know doubted me. There they always pat me on the back and just like you got this man. Like we have seen you do it before, so just go out there and just prove everybody you already made this gig. So did anybody did anybody try to hit you if you'd have missed it? Yeah, just talking around with you know Vince Bigger. He's like, I love you now, but I would have killed you if you missed. It. <laughs> so, I, mean, I don't blame him, man. It would have been a long ride home. I tell you that. You think they would have let you fly? No. Oh. <laughs> So I said, all right, it's going to be, it's going to be a buzz ride, something. Man. I don't know. Did it take you to look up That's after you perfect. hit the ball on the last kick? Oh, I, like, I couldn't tell you. I just you, Did you look up or did you just keep your head I up? looked up, and as soon as I saw it was going, I, I was like, it's going to go in no matter what. And I just kind of turned around. And, you, you can feel him, though, right? I mean, yeah. you know from the field. But, yeah, from yeah. the field, just going there. I was just hoping he wouldn't, that right. wind wouldn't yeah. push it too much. And when I saw that he did, and I was just like, okay, we're good. This is it. Call it a game. How did, was the, did the wind push the, the 39 one you missed? Yeah, that first one, I just put my line of driving and just always kind of stayed a little to the right and never really came back. So that's what kind of made it tough. So going back to that same spot, I was like, you know what, I'm going to swing, you know, like a little different, a little more to the left and just changed up a little bit with the wind and you worked out great. Yeah. How about you're always pretty confident, but you've been missing some kicks lately. Does this do anything for your confidence more? Does this just give you kind of validation that you're just doing I mean, things the the right way in your preparation? Yeah, it's one of those things that, you know, as a kicker, you only have so many chances. And sometimes it doesn't really translate to, you know, all the work that you've been putting on, on on and off the field, and, you know, just really working on my craft. You know, just getting that second chance, just, you know, prove that, you know, that I can do those kicks, that I can be that guy that they can count on at the last second. So, you know, it really felt good. And, you know, it feels good just, you know, for my teammates knowing that, you know, for all the guys out there, you know, it definitely feels good. So the first class or coach on the plane? On the... I don't know. I, I'll, I'll let him decide that. I'm just glad I'm going on the plane. <laughs> a lot of things had to fall right for you to get that chance. The defense had to prevent a first down. The offense mm -hmm. had to move the ball. To see all that happen, what are you thinking on the sidelines? Is all the dominoes are falling in the right direction for you? You know, once... Once, you know, defense did that job, you know, I was just fully confident that they were going to get me back in there. You know, Joe's been playing great. You know, he's just such a leader for those out there. So I knew he was going to take us down that place. And then just thankfully I got the opportunity. And then your, your celebration, Christian? Is that Ronaldo? Oh, yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm a big fan, you know, just messing around with the guys. I said I was going to do it one day and it just ended up happening today. So it was crazy. Had to do it out there. So. <laughs> Is that a moment you've been thinking about having an opportunity to kick the game like Kobo? That's what every kicker always yeah. thinks about. I mean, you definitely dream of that, but it's just, it's really just doing what the team really needs you to. You know, if it was a PAT, to, you know, it doesn't matter. We just want to get the win, and that's all it comes down to. You know, of course, you, you want to be successful in whatever you do, and, you know, game winning field goal is as good as it gets, like, no matter what, especially <laughs> situations like that that you get a second chance. I, I don't know how much more exciting that can be, so. You know, really thankful for them. Really, the team just played a great, great team. Guys, one more. Were you the the defenses? Were you the biggest fan of the defense after you missed that? that first oh God, game? I was just, I was like, thank God for you guys. You guys are awesome. You know, just they came out. And I was like, thank you. Now, now let's get it. So you know, the offense came out, and you know, that's what I did when I came into the locker room. You now after all the fuzz went down, you know, it was just went down, going to think one by one. You know, that's their victory. You know, they say game winner. They didn't think of the kicker. You know. That's not true. Today, that's that's their win no matter what. So I was just glad I was a part of it. So you wanted another chance? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No no matter what, you know, I just felt like I let my team down. But, you know, getting that second chance, you know, changed everything up. Second chance to charm sometimes. <laughs> you mentioned you have that trust in having a perfect snap and having a perfect hold. How do you just build that and have that sort of confidence in your mind? Yeah, I mean, just going through practice, you know. I, we never have bad snaps, you know. Like, Yields is just such an unbelievable snapper, you know. Drew's veteran out there so just 
I know everything was going to be set up perfectly. It was all up to me. So that that really is such a relief going out there, not having to worry about the exterior, just refocusing on what I have to do to make that kick and to help the team win. So thank you. Thanks, all right, thank you guys.